look at every Wiz Pop song, tanawa ang credits sa mga kanta, you would see in the past four years na usa ka pa nga ang nagbalik-balik, that person is Jad Bantug. The good thing about this pop is that it has the right people for the job to, to uh, for the project to succeed. A song has three main components: the lyrics, the uh, melody, and the arrangement. Now, the songwriter takes care of these two: the the melody and the lyrics. Sometimes he forgets about the element, which is arrangement, because busy siya sa yung melody and lyrics. No? So somebody has to take care of that component sa song. Now. We have the perfect person for the job. Akong role mong good as an arranger kay kaya lagi ito at least ang ilang song na nindot na daan at least ma maximize ni mo yung potential gani. Because it's my job also as producer to sort of give him the starting point, maybe give him pegs. But the thing about Jad Bantong is he has his own ideas. Sa garan sa kung arrangements po, I have this general idea lang kung saon ako. But when I sit in the chair, rag, um, I think rag 70, uh, 65 percent of the time, siguro rag, takes me to place the light, light get from my original idea. Ako yung may imagine ato, which pag first na kami na sa demo kay rough roman tum rag ang lyrics ato kay grabe makaisa ka kanang naglum gumay na bisaya and. Or a intimate pukesha mina or something something close to the heart. I emphasize na ako sa arrangement na um na mura siya na heartbeat ganey the entire the entire time the song. So so na ani siya sa sa verses sa chorus. Ah to complement po ano na heart ano ng heartbeat po niya is familiar mo ng heart monitor ganey. Namula siya yung certain sound na mura sign sign wave na siya na sound. Which is katong. I've always been a big fan put of kanang heavily heavily produced ng songs. Kaya katong na time put kay kani bispapol mani. Walak pa makai bisaya na songs na mag modern sounding ang drums. Mag that's the sound I was trying to achieve. Na dapat the sounds of drums should be big. And Murag, it should be larger than life. Pag dungog na ko sa arrangement na gibuhat ni Sir Jad, amazing yun kayo kay mao siya ang mag-expect but mas better pa yun sa ang expect Iyang gitagaan o life ang kanta. Ang tagubtub sa... Nalang ko i-envision daan nga arrangement sa akong song. Sumuto, ipangutan ako rin. Ang saman nga instruments, inyong in in gana, in ganahan nga madunggan. Suggest ko nga, kanang organic lang siya nga arrangement. So, so karagado siya guitars and kung wala kayo electronic. And akong gi-highlight nga, ganahan ko kanang na nice, xylophone, parang murang cute-cute ang kanta ba? Kaya labi lang ga ba yan? For the intro, I, uh, I had this idea. Murag, I think nakadungo na ko ane from a... Uh, 60s na song but instead of kanang cellophone lang to vocals lang to na marag nag arpeggiate siya nag outline siya sa chord sa melody so more or less muna akong gihimo na riff sa intro ni Jerica using katong cellophone so basically kanin siya then nag unahuna ko nung saan man ako siya pag himo Lively, na without kana but di ko magbutal mga synthetic na instruments. Then I had to use katong sulti na oganina na katong mga hand percussions lang. Amo na siya the actual table nato and nagtap tap ko sa table. It's just ah this all kaning percussion ni ako ni ako yung nagbuat ane. I think this this was me tapping on. Some stuff related to table. 
na to the beat na tong tak 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 then I also put some different textures na muraga the top ko ni just random keys and I did some claps Then I also did kanang nag thump ko kanang I think using a wooden chair. Nalahi po na accent. So together with the yeah, together with the keys. So ati na lang yan na formang main groove sa kanta. Ini ko ugma. Nga, natin usa ka secret contemporary track na hindi kayo madungog ni mo Kani kay Akor na siya na Ino ka pao? Ako mo na siya When I wrote the song, gigamit na ko kay Yuki Lele Huwag ko kayo ko'y alamag when it comes to, you know, the arrangement of the song Basta I just pictured out nga the song would be groovy Basically, ang ang elements ng niya kay kanang the usual na R&B 90s na band siguro. So, kung isabay niyo with the instruments. Jad sees that potential, and then he exploits that potential to to make the song sound really good. Because sometimes a songwriter ma amaze sa result sa song. People don't get to appreciate um, the arrangers that much. Kay behind the scenes mangut sila, pero dako kayo ilahang contribution sa pagpanindot sa kanta. When you submit your songs to them, lahi ilang take so they interpret it in the way that they understand the story. And they express that through the way they arrange the song. The choices that he made during the arranging process is actually our definition of what Bisaya sounds like. Kung sa may tingog sa Bisaya, mo na ang gitubag ni Jad Bantog sa iyong mga areglo. Ang nakalindot sa Bispa Carl is that the arrangement nga component is given an equal importance. Kaya atong una, sa nabantayan na mo sa katong nag-start may sa banda, that kanang murag ang arrangement is back seat rasya so more on lyrics or melody but it's not actually the case with the current no kay if you give the arrangement an equal importance sa tungo duha ka elements mas mas makarga og maayo ang kanindot sa kanta ba ang ako lang siyong gi think kron is I think we're one step closer to katong to this dream na to elevate the quality of music production dili sa Cebu sa atong song sa na people are drawn to it because organically everyone is inspired by the music and yeah fist pop is all about the music and i think we owe a lot of that to jai bantu mm -hmm.